pain of any type keeps me from being who I am, keeps me from doing what I enjoy doing. If that pain is bad enough, you find yourself thinking about yourself. If you're no longer thinking about the people that work with and for you, and you're not paying attention to your patrons and your, and your crowd and the people that are in here trying to celebrate. In our particular business, it's about fun. The name of our business is Captain Fun Beach Club. I was 13 years old and I was hired initially for one weekend in downtown Pensacola, it was a festival, to push a hot dog stand. I had to dress up as Uncle Sam. And the people that, that hired me told me, don't worry, we don't normally sell a lot of hot dogs, just you know, push this cart around and uh, just do your best. And I sold so many hot dogs, I kept selling them and selling them and uh, watching everybody have a good time because it was an entertainment style venue, I got hooked. When it first started, I didn't know what it was uh, or how I did it. It started, I had a nagging pain right here in the back of my neck and it, and it bothered me. Well, then my left arm became numb, but I knew something was wrong. I became short-tempered. It was very difficult for me to be focused here at work and, and trying to create events and book entertainment. And I was afraid I would have lost my business um, because I wouldn't have been able to function at the level that I needed to function or focus like I needed to. And I couldn't do the things that made me enjoy my life. I, I just, all of that was gone. I'm Tom Carmichael. I'm the co-owner of Captain Fun Beach Club on Pensacola Beach, Florida. I had an anterior cervical discectomy and fusion performed by Dr. Gio. Went to his office. He was um, very professional, but very straightforward. But he got straight to the point. He showed me his computer screen with the MRI on it and told me I was in trouble and that I had a massive uh, problem with a disc and that I had to have surgery. It scared me to death. Or I asked him, I said, when? And he said, today. He told me that if I didn't do something quick, that I would never have strength in my left arm again. Going into the hospital, I was not scared. I hurt so bad. If I could have done the surgery myself, I would have done it. When I woke up, it took me five seconds. As groggy as I was, it took me five seconds. I'm laying down and I move my arm like this. I knew I was healed. I knew right then. When somebody gives something back to you, I woke up early the next morning and uh, my wife was still asleep. And I took a shower and uh, started getting ready for work. And my wife said, what do you think you're doing? You are not going to work. And I said, baby, I am going to work. I feel amazing. He gave me back my life. The means to support my family, you know, the ones that I love and gave me back the ability to create that fun atmosphere at our venue for, for all those people that, that, that come and, and celebrate here. And to do it and smile doing it.